are people's expectations way too high because of science fiction? They're supposed to be robots in our lives. I mean, we watch the Jetsons, we watch Star Wars. Science fiction worked against us for a long time. The expectation of robots in the home led the world to become very, very skeptical. Decades passed and these marvelous machines we were supposed mm -hmm. to have just didn't exist. That doesn't look yeah. like the robot that I was promised because it doesn't have arms and legs. The adoption of Roomba has always been one of overcoming skepticism. Our first business model was build a low-cost Mars rover and fund it by selling the movie rights. That sounds crazy, not particularly practical, but it did lead to the Sojourner rover going to Mars. And over the years, we've done many different things from toys to mine hunting robots to robots that clean supermarkets and shopping malls. But it wasn't until 12 years in that we really found our path. We actually uh, had worked with the Defense Department on robots that would clear minefields. And so that we had this technology we could apply to Roomba for coverage, right? To make sure that the robot got everywhere in the home and you wouldn't have a clean spot and a, and a gap in a clean spot. We had been working in the toy industry with Hasbro and learned about how can you make something very complicated, very inexpensive, well, safe and reliable. So iRobot was in an unusual position where we had military, industrial cleaning, toy manufacturing, and robotic experience all under the same roof. It was a little weird working on mine hunting robots and then my next meeting would be about uh, vacuuming. It became clear that in order to realize the potential of what robots can deliver in the home, we needed to focus. Today iRobot is 100% focused on the home. We've sold 15 million Roomba vacuum cleaners, about 20% of all money spent on vacuuming today is spent on mm -hmm. robot vacuuming and uh, we're very excited to have built this new rapidly growing industry. You were really one of the first companies to bring robotics into the home. Why did it take so long? The challenge is that it's straightforward to make a toy robot that you can drive. It's quite hard to make a robot that actually can do something sufficiently useful that a person would pay for it. In order to actually build a business around it, we had to make a robot that cleaned comparably to the way you clean. If you think about the computer industry, you know, the first video game, Pong, not particularly advanced or exciting, but there was nothing like it. Whereas robotics, the bar is very high. In order to succeed as a business, as opposed to a novelty, you have to get to comparable to human performance before you're even in the game. One of the reasons that iRobot was able to succeed with Roomba is ultimately our customers, they just want a clean floor and we're able to give it to them. The robot is now uh, an enabling part of the smart home and that's technology done well and that's what the robotic industry needs to do if we're going to become mainstream.